Whitney Pipkin is tired of being discriminated against because she's a parent. Writing in the Washington Post, she tells of receiving extra scrutiny from her Airbnb hosts or getting sneered at for when she asks for a high chair at a restaurant only because she has a two-year-old in tow. Let's call it what it is, she says, toddler discrimination, which she says is basically age discrimination, which of course it is, but is that so bad? Racial discrimination is obviously bad because people who share skin color don't necessarily share behavioral traits, but all babies spill things and make noise. If you don't want them in your restaurant, you should be able to say no. One person who proudly discriminates based on age is Johnny B. Barunas, owner of the auction house on the Upper East Side. He is, according to the New York Daily News, part of a growing movement of night spots that don't want millennials. Barona says that before his new policy, quote, everybody was bar hopping in their flannel shirts with a beer in their hand and a backwards hat. We didn't want that crowd. We don't want 21-year-olds that can't handle liquor getting sick outside. Mm. Well, I'm sure the feeling is mutual. Young people wouldn't want to hang out at this Johnny Buzzkills anyway. And he's just doing them a service by being upfront about it. They know they're not welcome. Age discrimination. Everybody wins. That's it. Allie, let's take you back to your 21st birthday. Would you want to party with yourself? No, definitely not. <laughs> not at all. I wouldn't. But I, I wouldn't want to go to a place where there were people older than me partying anyway. So I would party with younger people. I don't know why they're fighting to get into a higher, a higher aged place. Oh, you don't like this idea? I, I think it's okay. I don't know why the millennials are complaining about it. I just feel like millennials have so little to complain about that they're fighting to get into a place they don't even want to get into at this yes. point. Yes. Well, I don't think, I think they're very sensitive. They don't like discrimination. McMorris, you're not old, but you, you seem like you have an old spirit. Because I'm wearing a suit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's because What I'm, I'm saying is, I think you're even younger than I think you are. You're a young guy, aren't you? I'm 30. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I, pretty young. I, I just have children. Yeah, um, so, that's right. So I, I only want to go to places that don't allow children uh, or anybody who is 25. <laughs> I'm best of both worlds. Both of, these, both of these establishments seem to have the right policies in place. And my, my favorite thing about the, the woman claiming toddler discrimination is the fact that she said, my kid is very well behaved. Yeah. I don't believe that. You, she, don't, you don't believe th it? This woman is whining in a national publication. <laughs> that kid probably <laughs> weeps every moment of every meal. Yeah. If this woman is this whiny and she's raising this kid, I don't want to be anywhere near both of them. Monster. Well, that's it. I mean, everybody thinks their kids are the best, yeah, don't sure. they, Kennedy? If, if you have to write about it, if you have to proclaim it, I yeah. agree with you completely. But the kid's a nightmare. <laughs> and and yeah. frankly, do you really want to go somewhere you're not wanting? When you, it's anxiety-inducing enough taking your child into mm -hmm. a place, worrying about whether or not they're going to soil the linens. It's much better to be in places that have, like, plastic sheeting on the tables and picnic yeah. benches and food for kids where uh -huh. they'll be happy and entertained and kind of quiet and busy while you're uh, throwing down the macaroni leftovers. Yeah. Doesn't it take care of itself? I, I, mm. I don't mean to use this show as a platform to launch my venture capital firm, yes. but I want to start a restaurant family restaurant yeah. where you can beat your children <laughs> with with no decision. Whoa, whoa, have you no, been to Red Lobster? No, no judgment. You can yeah. beat your wife yeah. and kid at Red Lobster. Like imagine if it, it could be fine dining but you're allowed to hit your kid and everyone's like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> McMorris, the money, the money is rolling in right now. You can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. No, my, this my, is a money idea. The, the sub 25 year old, that's what businesses should be allowed to do. We've taken that power away from them in this country and we label everything so some form of discrimination, so everyone is a targeted group. Yeah. It's like, shut up, go to Williamsburg yeah. and drink PBR. Yeah. Like, why do you want to drink $12 cocktails? Well, that's something that drives me crazy. These people are acting like it's the only bar in the city. Yeah. We have 4,200 bars. We have a bar every three feet. Right. There's more than one bar in the Upper East Side? Oh, it's so, I know, right? It's so it's so crazy. Uh, you, you get stopped by a cop on the Upper East Side. He's like, you drinking? You're like, no. He's like, here you go. You know, it's bad. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that joke killed in the tri-state area. <laughs> but, 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 but the other problem with this is that the bartender who banned all the millennials said, oh, they drink too much Fireball and Red Bull and vodka. Oh. It's, why are you serving Red Bull if you're a mature establishment or Fireball? You're right. So yeah. he, he invited it upon himself. He shouldn't have dressed that way if he wanted millennials you to don't have to be. You don't have to be 20 to enjoy Fireball. Well, by the way, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, helps, hey. Kennedy likes her Fireball. Wow. <laughs> she likes her rye, too. Yeah. Okay.